It will not make much difference, friend, a hundred years from now, if you live in a stately mansion or a floating river scow, if the clothes you wear are a tailor-made or just pieced together somehow, if you eat big steaks or beans and cake a hundred years from now. Won't matter what your bank account or the make of car you drive, for the grave will claim all your riches and fame and the things for which you strive. There's a deadline that we all must meet. No one will show up late. It won't matter all the places you've been. Each one will keep that date. We will only have in eternity what we gave away on earth. When we go to the grave, we can only save the things of eternal worth. What matters, friend, the earthly gain for which some men will bow? For your destiny will be sealed, you see, a hundred years from now. Is that something? The boy wrote this, only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for God will last, and when I am dying, how glad I shall be if the lamp of my life has been burned out for thee. If you're an unsaved man a thousand million years, you say, well, I came this morning, my wife wanted me to come, but I don't think I'll come again, I don't like this kind of stuff. Well, friend, let me tell you lovingly, go to hell and live with all the scum of the earth. You like to drink, go with the drinkers. You like to lust, go with the prostitutes. In hell, if you're given to lust after women, you'll have that lust, but there's nothing to satisfy your lust. If you drink, you'll thirst, but there's nothing to satisfy your thirst. You'll give a king's ransom for one drop of water. There isn't even a drop of water, never mind that precious wine you drink. Can you see all the saints of all the ages? And Leonard Rainville is standing there before a, a Christ whose eyes are full of holiness, where the place is breathing holiness, where there's all the majesty of an awesome God. And he reads the record of my poor life before all the saints of all the ages. If any man's work abide which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet as by fire. So Jesus said, as it were, or the Spirit puts these into little pockets. He says, your life can be wood or hay or stubble, or your life can be silver, gold or precious stones. And the fire shall try every man's work. I think again of a statement Dr. Tozer made to me once. He said, Len, you know what? He said, we'll hardly get our feet out of time into eternity and gaze on eternity with what we bow our heads in shame and humiliation and say, my God, look at all the riches there were in Jesus Christ. And I've come to the judgment seat almost a pauper.